Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at what to do after you install ParrotSec. Now for those who are not familiar with ParrotSec, it's pretty much the alternative to Kali Linux and so far I've been liking it you guys and I'm going to keep on using it. So those that are new to this channel, please make sure to hit that like button if you like this video. Make sure to subscribe, enable those notifications by smacking that bell button and if you have any questions or any issues, please make sure to comment down below now we also have our discord server so make sure to also visit that and i'm gonna leave the invite link down in the description you guys now again we're going to be looking at what to do after you install paratech on your system or on a virtual machine and this is pretty much to provide a little bit of security now there's a whole bunch of things that we can do as far as securing the platform but we're going to look at the basics today so what you're going to do actually is update the system right after you install this operating system in this case we're talking about parrot sec and in order to do that it's pretty much the apt space update now as you notice the command didn't run they have some type of permission denied and that is because we're running as a standard user you guys now this is one of the things that I like about parrot sec that out of the box it already provides you with a standard user and what you can do pretty much here is just issue the sudo command and be done with it but in order to provide a little bit more clear explanation I'm gonna just go ahead into the root user you guys just in case you don't have a standard user and to do that is that sudo su space dash in order to go into the root user itself now at this point you can do the command to update the system without issuing the sudo command and once you have that you can pretty much hit enter and and it's going to go through It's gonna you know fetch you know whatever is necessary to update the system is going to check the sources.list or the repository to where to fetch updates and upgrades and so on now once it's done the next thing that we're going to do in order to provide a little bit more security to this operating system is do an upgrade you guys now for those that are new to this parrot sec I'm pretty sure you're gonna be running the latest version but for those that aren't running the latest version this is what you need to do in order to be on the latest version you guys which is pretty much the app space upgrade you can also do a disk upgrade as well but for example the upgrade is going to pretty much upgrade all the packages that are installed under this operating system now if you want to update the operating system itself it's pretty much the disk dash upgrade now this command is going to actually install and update everything you guys now this is going to take some time so please make sure to go take a coffee and come back the next thing that we're going to do is pretty much issue the passwd because we want to change the root password because sometimes it comes with the default what you're going to do is just issue a new password and then just retype or confirm the password and that is pretty much it you're done with that so that is one of the most important things and is like a security best practice to always change the default password on any application now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to reconfigure the open SSH server you guys now by default it comes already with some keys generated but we need to actually generate new ones now I previously made a video on how to do this on a Kali Linux and it's pretty much the same deal you guys we're going to issue or we're going to create a new directory which is going to be called whatever you want you guys I'm gonna name mine the old underscore SSH keys and I'm gonna pretty much move the old ones into this directory now what we're going to do next is pretty much run the following command which is going to be the DP key G dash reconfigure space open SSH dash server and what is this going to do is actually reissue and generate new keys you guys Okay, once you're done with that command and everything's good to go, what we're going to do next is actually verify the hash and make sure that it's not the same ones, not the same keys. And that is going to be the SHA-256 sum space underscore SSH underscore host. And basically I'm adding an asterisk to pretty much, you know, do that command to everything that is in that pattern or that string, right? And you're going to do that for the same for the new keys that have been generated and just basically check the random strings and make sure they do not match you guys really important that do not match because that would mean that they're new and they're different so another thing that you want to do in case you only have a root user what you're going to do is add 
a new one you guys a standard user the command for that is going to be add user space with the new user of your choice and I'm gonna pick end root and basically just follow the prompts issue a password confirm the password provide some additional information and that is it you guys you're pretty much done with issuing or creating a new standard user and what you're going to do next you guys is pretty much add the new user to the sudo group this is in order to actually have some type of permissions to actually run some elevated commands and in order to do that we're going to issue the user mod space dash a space dash g sudo followed by the username of your choice or the username that you just created right so in this case we're going to do an su non root and we're going to pretty much run a command now sometimes you're going to be cached as a root user but if you don't just issue the sudo command and that is it you guys these are just the basic steps to actually you know secure the ParrotSec OS just a little bit more and like I said earlier there's tons of other things that you can do but that's a whole different area and it's more advanced and kind of it involves more configurations and stuff like that but again you guys appreciate you guys watching this video make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to drop a like if you like this video and don't forget very important to enable those notifications also I want to make sure you guys are also aware of the discord server and I'm gonna leave the invite link in the description so make sure to check that out as well again you guys thanks and I'll be right back with you guys in just a moment thanks